What's up, YouTubers? Just making a short video. I don't know if any of you guys are in Colombia, but I've noticed a lot of new videos from Colombia. The guys are getting robbed. I think the what they're doing is they're what I hear they're doing is putting scopamine. I'm not sure what that is, but I heard it called scopamine in, in people's drinks. Guys invite girls over to their place without really knowing them too well. They get their their drinks spiked with this stuff, and then I guess yesterday or today or yesterday or the day before, some American passed away from that. So it's, it's kind of sad. But another acquaintance of mine had this happen to him. Um, he realized it was happening. He didn't drink the drink or drank very little of it and got out of the situation. But I don't know. I, that's the thing. Like if you go online and meet people through dating apps, you can have things like that happen to you. My opinion is you should, you should always meet people um, in a more traditional way or meet them when you're out and about. I think that can cut down a lot of that. My only point of making this is be careful. Number two, um, nowadays you got to um, recognize that with COVID and all the stuff that's going on, a lot of people are desperate for money and will put you in any kind of situation where they can rob you and take your stuff. And I just want to put that out there for my viewers. If you're in Latin America and um, drinking bars or or invite people over, you don't really know that well. My other point is, um, I'm not sure if this, ha I don't think this really happens only in Colombia, but I notice more and more it seems to be happening in Colombia a lot. So um, I would say just be careful in general, but. Anyways, I don't want to say too much more about that. It's just a sad thing. You've got to be careful when you're out there. When you're traveling and you have no one there to help you, you could be passed out in your apartment or, or hotel and and there's like no one really there. And then you can wake up like this person explained another person this happened to. You're way out of it. You don't know how long you've been there. Everything's gone. All your accounts have been cleaned out. In this case, uh, not the guy who passed away, but this other guy. There's another guy that, in other words, more guys are talking about this privately among themselves than are reporting it or making videos about it. So it's probably more prevalent. Well, this other gentleman said his, he got all his money back, but his accounts were cleaned out. He got it back. His credit cards were used in the tens of thousands. And uh, it was all. It was all made good and he doesn't owe any money, but I just want to make a point that when you're all alone, and you, you don't have anyone to help you. It's really nice if you can have friends you can count on or uh, people you know you can call, especially when you're in a country that you don't know too many people in. So that's just another reason to, uh, if you can, travel with people, um, make friends with people when you're there, and try to meet people more again more organically especially in latin america meeting people through other people will cut down on that kind of thing i don't even think it would happen but i, I mean i don't know right now things are so messed up in the world because of co coronavirus uh and other things too but i think that's why this happened is because all the ways of making of making money were shut down for a while so uh anyways I just wanted to make a video talking about it. I'm going to upload this and see if anyone has any comments about getting robbed through your drinks. They're basically, they're just spiking your drinks. And if they spike it too much, you just pass away. Anyways, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Thank you.